Day six, I'm in Bangkok, I've still got no money, okay? I've still got fucking no money, but I've got a fucking breadth of hope that's maybe gonna come to fruition. But to top off my fucking bad luck and how much of a shit stain I am, I've lost <laughs> my fucking GoPro battery. But it's a minor problem, I'm in a fucking fantastic country, it's nice weather outside, and I've got fucking a million other things that I could be thinking about rather than worrying about a fucking GoPro battery. Who gives a fuck? Apparently there's an elephant sanctuary, so let's go and fucking have a fight with an elephant. Not a fight, okay? But I want to see how strong his fucking trunk is, do you know what I mean? Like, if I was to arm wrestle an elephant's trunk, could I beat it? Do you know what I mean? I think so. I think if I punched an elephant as hard as I could, I'd knock him out, mate. <laughs> no, but I think I could knock out a sheep with a punch. <laughs> And we are back in the blistering fucking heat. <laughs> Should we have a look at the temperature? What is the temperature? 33 degrees, very sunny, chance of rain, 0%. People told me, that I should be worried about rain. When somebody even told me, oh, you should probably take like a rain mac or some sort of a jacket. Are you fucking dizzy, blood? <laughs> Just walking straight out of my hotel. We've got this fucking beautiful looking building here. I assume it's some sort of a temple. Little outdoor gym area there. Um, I am heading into the city centre. Basically, so this is the plan. This is my, sim my slimmer of hope that I'm, that I'm hoping for to get some money. So, there's a guy on TikTok called Johnny Velvet. Okay, he's only recently been on TikTok. He's only got about 18,000 followers as of right now. And he's some sort of a fucking self-proclaimed millionaire that lives in Chiang Mai and has been making videos inviting me to come to his, what he calls it, Casa del Slong. <laughs> Great name. Basically, and then I said, yeah, that sounds amazing, bro. He says, you can come on the 14th. It's currently the 11th today. So I thought, I'll come to Chiang Mai anyway, because I want to head up to Pai. And I thought, fuck, I can message him. So I've messaged him and said, look, mate, I need your help. Can you come and drop me 20,000 bar? And he said, fucking yes guys let's get into this bitch <laughs> so he's coming i think i don't know I, it's a man on the internet do you know what i mean I, I don't know how much i trust this fella i mean i've got no reason not to he seems like a nice guy so let's see hopefully he turns up i'm gonna have a walk into chiang mai center ish it's pretty fucking far but until i've got this cash in my hand i don't really want to be spending money too much do you know what i mean a lot of these buildings are beautiful around here um, yeah, I don't really want to be spending too much cash, do you know what I mean? So, we'll see. He said he should be free about 12, but it's currently quarter past... I could do some food, to be fair. Yeah, it's currently quarter past 11. Too early for beers. Keep away from me. <laughs> Let's get into the fucking town a bit more. And I'll give you an update on what happens with this fucking geezer. Hopefully he doesn't say, right, here's 20,000 bar and I'll get on your fucking knees. <laughs> He's not just giving me money. He's not just giving me money, by the way. I am going to transfer him the money. It's just because I know he lives here. I thought, oh, he'll be able to take some money out for me. Just to clear that up, I'm not getting free money. I'm not actually going to suck anyone off. Unless he wants me to. <laughs> There's also, luckily, a laundry mat here because I've realised today I've already worn all my clothes. So what are we on? Day six. So I brought six days of clothes. Although a lot of it, ah, oh, let me get a water. A lot of it, you can only really, wear, it takes like two t-shirts a day because you're fucking sweating into it, do you know what I mean? So, cheers brother. Same with the fucking socks, mate. I bought about 12 pairs of socks. Day six, I've already fucking lost them all. Oh, I need to get a new sandwich as well, actually, because I'm, I'm sure you've seen it on the TikTok, on my TikTok, I'm doing a, reviewing one, one of them every single day. Okay, review's done. I'm currently passing a McDonald's. Hello. I'm currently, I thought he was looking at me, but he wasn't. I'm currently passing a McDonald's, right? And I tell you what, I'm fucking proud of myself because, firstly, I'm a McDonald's addict, okay? If you cut me open, some Big Mac sauce will fall out of me, do you know what I mean? Hello, son. Oh, so did grab. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, and I've not eaten any McDonald's. I ate one, but I was pissed, right? And it was only a Big Mac, and I'm not counting that. Because when you do stuff when you're pissed, it doesn't count. <laughs> it wasn't me. That was drunk mash tag, not real mash tag. Okay, so we're now into like more of the main centre. So we've got McDonald's, Hard Rock Cafe, Starbucks. Obviously somewhere you can buy bloody ganja and Anna. I don't know whether I should do it or not, bro. I just really want to get some edibles and just spend one day where there's one vlog where I'm just high. I think that could be funny. Or not funny at all, because I'll just be sat doing nothing, just scranning food and not being able to make any actual content. But we'll see. It's fucking hot as fuck, mate. I've just got the text. Mr. Johnny Velvet says he is on his way. Okay, it feels like this might be happening. 
Hopefully he doesn't turn up with a gang of them and just beat me up and go, I fucking hate your TikToks, you twat. <laughs> so yeah, my day has been saved. This guy is my fucking hero. I'm pretty sure he drives an Audi R8. And I did tell him I want to drive it. I don't think he's going to let me drive it today. I don't think he should let me drive it at all. From yesterday being so stressed, literally so stressed, thinking what the fuck am I going to do? I'm fucking stranded to now all my prayers have been answered, my bank card's on its way through DHL, I'm getting my cash delivered to me today. Mwah. Thank you all. Fucking make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm such a useless twat, I'm sure all the bad shit is gonna happen to me. <laughs> Look at this. Here he is, he's come to save the day. How you doing, hello, nice yeah. to meet you. We have a slight problem hello, though. Uh, I couldn't find an ATM. Okay. So I need to go around again and find one. I don't know if there's enough space for you in here though. <laughs> no, I can't imagine. No, it's all right, I'll wait here mate, no worries. Sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm in no rush. All right, mate. All right, cheers brother. Look at that for a fucking motor. Jesus Christ. Hey, not all superheroes wear capes, mate. Some of them drive Audi R8s. <laughs> What makes this even more perfect is I'm right next to a uh, bike rental place. So I'm literally gonna get in the cash and straight away give it to some old lady and go, she's gonna rent me a bike. We've already agreed a price, 500 baht for two days, 48 hours, uh, and only a thousand deposit as well. So I fucking smashed it, mate. I'm fucking smashing it done. Come along. I ain't got my GoPro chest strap, but um, after yesterday, the other issue, I posted a vlog the other day, um, and I, I was supposed to put in all the edits of me doing wheelies and fucking doing cool shit and for some reason I put 10 minutes of fucking just driving footage in there and I don't know how why I did it, I don't know how I did it. I was so hungover and editing in Burger King I just fucked up so apologies for that, that wasn't supposed to be in there. I know a lot of the comments were like, that bit was fucking boring. It was boring, I watched it back and was like, fucking how have I done that? <laughs> Alright, anyway, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. And here he is ladies and gentlemen, he's got the yeah. care package, look at that. <laughs> Big fat the stack. The pleb package. Should we just fuck it all off and go straight to the shoot club, blow it tonight? Let's go. Don't tell Mrs. Bell. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, leave the wife and kids, we'll fucking go. <laughs> well no, absolute hero. I'm going to tag his TikTok on the, on the screen as well, so make sure you go follow him. He does also have, I was telling you, Casa del Slong, is it? That's it, Casa he, del that's Slong. That's it. Uh, and he's offered me a, a place that I can go and stay but it's not available yet, so I may be coming back down to Chiang Mai, so we may see a repeat, um, perform, repeat performance. Collab. We, we may, yeah, we may see a repeat collab from Johnny Velvet here. Is that your real name? Uh, yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like the most porn star stripper name ever. <laughs> Straight onto the bikes, we have a lovely lady here. What's your name? Vanida. Vanida. Yeah, beautiful, Vanida beautiful young lady. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 70, 70 years. 70 years old? Yeah. No way, you don't look a day over 21, mama, darling. My mama, you. Oh, your mama. My son, yeah, my son, 45. You think, how old do you think I am? 35. 35? <laughs> I'm 29, baby. <laughs> Okay, yeah, what, what motorbike, please? As I'm paying, I've realised, <laughs> you're not going to believe this. Well, you will actually, because this is exactly on brand for me. I've lost my room key to my hotel. <laughs> I've only been down the road. Uh, this one, yeah? Daddy! 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 <laughs> Daddy! Yeah, man. Yes. Thank you very much. No idea what she's fucking on about. Hello, my friend. Salam. Jai Yen Yen. Jai Yen Yen. No hot. Ho. Oh, I'm feeling my titties. And we're off. We obviously don't have an international driving license, so I am expected to get pulled over at any point because I've been told they'll pull over all non foreigners. No, not non foreigners, foreigners. But well, fuck it, I'm expecting it. There's literally a sign that says traffic police left. So, oh. hey brother! Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a sign that says traffic police, so, oh, we're literally getting pulled over as we speak. No, they've pulled over the person in front of me because they don't have a helmet on. Hopefully they don't pull, oh, he's pulling me over now. Fuck's sake, that was quick. <laughs> in here, yeah? Sick. That was, what was that, five seconds? Hello, sir. Do you have a Oh, not on me. It's in the hotel. No. No. Oh. Check now, so now, no home, no hotel. 
what's your passport, yeah? Uh, what's your name? Where are you from? England. England. Yeah. Uh, please check, you know, now give me a hat. Have a license, yeah? You pay for it. It's police station, 500 bucks. Okay. Yes. You're not hot? You're hot? You must be fucking boiling in that, mate. Hot. Very hot, yeah. brother. <laughs> you say the fine's 500? Yeah, 500. 500, okay, that's okay. Yeah. Cheaper than Bangkok. <laughs> 1,000 in Bangkok. Police station, yeah? Why help for one baby need you come back? Okay, yeah. thank you, brother. Daddy's home. I would like one fine, please. One fine is 500 bucks. 500, yeah? Yeah, you basically just buy the license. You get the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the worst thing? I got my international driving license, but it turns out I've not got a motorbike license at home, so it's useless anyway. Yeah, I, I'm the same. Yeah. So. I got some bloody TikTok told me to get an international driving license. They didn't tell me I actually need a motorbike license as well. So I've Googled elephant sanctuary and it's brought me to this fucking place in the middle of town where there definitely can't be any elephants, but it might just be an office. I don't know. Oh, it says, there we go. Yeah. Oh, no riding. You can't ride the elephant. Hey, it's the guy from the, hello. hello. It's the guy from the police station, look. Oh, <laughs> hey, it's so very good, yeah. <laughs> okay, look, one thousand nine hundred baht for a person, which is about forty quid. I think it's forty quid. Half a day, that would do me. Is there any available uh, available today? Don't you get no puzzle because not, the not last puzzle. one. Oh, the gone. last one's already no. gone. Okay, no problem. I'll book for tomorrow. Okay, would you like to make a booking? Yes, please. Tomorrow okay. afternoon. Okay. So yeah, to be fair, I think it's probably better to not do it today. Now I can actually go and explore Chiang Mai and see what the city's actually about. Because otherwise, if they'd have just said, yeah, go right now to the bloody motorbike, to the motorbike, to the uh, elephant sanctuary, it would have been a bit like, fucking out quick. So yeah, not bad. I mean, 1,900, I think that's quite expensive, but I assume it's for the preservation of the elephant. So, and they gave me this bag. I was too, it felt too nice to say, I don't want your fucking horrible tote bag, but <laughs> total bag of shit. Uh, and they gave me a bottle of water. I mean, the least they could do after taking 40 quid off me. I've ridden around for a bit, right? And this place is not like Bangkok. Bangkok was drive as fast as you can. It's fucking mental. This is more just chill. Everyone's just chilling, just cruising. No one's going fast, just relax. Just fucking enjoy yourself. Enjoy the fucking sun. No, I can't enjoy the sun. It's burning me, but look where I am. I'm at a barber shop. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna fucking get a haircut in Thailand because I might just get them to do my beard. I don't know. I'm just so scared that they're gonna fuck my hairline up. Hopefully, it's not too busy. Hello, Saudi Crab. Hopefully, they've got a picture of a fucking guy with the skin fade up. Because look, I'm just worried my, just worried my hair's gonna end up looking like this. Bro. That's what I'm scared. Um, okay, no, 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 number three on top, mm. and then leave the beard. But this bit, clean. Yeah, it's clean here. Clean. No, this clean. bit is okay. This bit know. okay. okay. Just here, clean. Oh, okay. And then the haircut. Yeah. I'm already worried. Are you good? Are you good, Barbara? <laughs> Are you good? Yeah. Okay, I'm trusting. Picture, picture, picture. I'm trusting you. <laughs> I have no trust. <laughs> Oh god, how much is it? What's the cost? Two hundred, any one hundred, three hundred baht. Three hundred baht, okay, good price. That's about eight quid, so getting a haircut for eight quid from a Thai lady. God. The thing is, I'd let her do it all. I'm just, because I'm thinning out here, I'm just worried that if she pushes it back there, this bit may never grow back ever again, so we'll see. We'll see what happens today for me. Please hit the subscribe button, like and comment because <laughs> I'm going to need money for a bloody hair transplant after this. <laughs> Cut to the final product. Very good. Uh, uh, thank you. No, do I get a happy ending? Happy ending? No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I can pay extra. <laughs> okay, thank you. You know what? It was stereotypical and ignorant of me to say that a Thai lady wouldn't be able to come back. She's actually done the right job. I mean, I still wouldn't pick her over my barber, but you know what I'm saying? Very good. Thank you. Now, I wouldn't say she's done a good job, but fuck me, it feels so much nicer not to have bare hair all over me. So, yes. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. I'll go this. I get this through, yeah? Yeah. Fuck, you know? <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, what am I doing now? Um, I'm, I want to get actually a massage, right? But on my feet because I'm really, really ticklish and I think it would be hilarious. Because <laughs> they just wouldn't be able to get near my toe. Hello! Hi. They just wouldn't be able to get anywhere near my feet. Uh, but for now, I'm going to quickly nip back to the hotel because this battery's almost dead. I think because of the heat, the fucking drains the batteries even quicker, which is fucking well annoying. <laughs> so I'm going to go back, quickly charge up. Um, that way I can be prepared for it. I can just go out then and just continue with the, with the day. So I need to go get some food. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come along, continue with the journey. Let's get straight into this bitch. Oh yeah, I've just remembered I've not got a fucking room key, have I? So I'm gonna have to fucking see how much that costs. Hello. Uh, I've lost my room key. And what? He lost it. Really? Yeah, really. Bloody idiot. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, have a great day. Okay, they didn't charge me, that's fucking peng. I mean, they shouldn't, it's a fucking piece of plastic card. Because my card had the room number written on it, I thought maybe it was special, I don't know. Anyway, there we go, I'm gonna have a shower, charge up, get fucking hyped up. Oh, oh, oh. Back at the WhatsApp. basically what I'm gonna do, fucking hell, there's a place, it's a water park, right? And it's called Grand Canyon, but I don't know if that's just in the Grand Canyon and you can go to the Grand Canyon. Anyways, it's one of them shitty inflatable ones that they have in like Cavos and shit. I don't want to go on that. But you can like cliff dive. I want to do that. So I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna get some food on the way. So come along, we're gonna go get some proper fucking traditional Thai food. Am I? I don't want Thai food, I'm fucking sick of Thai food. I want fucking McDonald's, but obviously I'm trying to be healthy. So I don't know, we'll see what we can get. We'll get some scram that's gonna be at least half decent. And then we're gonna head off to the Grand Canyon and hopefully I'm gonna be diving face first off a cliff into some water. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I've forgotten to bring the fucking chest strap with me, so you're not going to be able to see any of the riding. But like I say, it's a lot more chill here. No one's really racing and shit, and it's not like shooting in and out of traffic. So, so we'll just go get some fucking scran. Might get a little pinty. I never know. I am on holiday. <laughs> right, I've passed a million um, actual street food vendors, and none of them seem like the place that I want to eat. I just fuck. I'm not, not feeling that vibe at the moment, man. Do you know what I mean? You know when you eat some of the same fucking shit for six days? It's not shit, same stuff for six days. But I've just pulled up and there's this big fucking temple here. I assume it's something. Shall we just have a look? I don't know if I'm allowed to just walk in, but... We'll go for it, we'll have a look. Assume, I can't see why not. I think it's like a monk's temple though. The thing is, with temples and stuff like that, right? And obviously I'm making my video. Oh wow, look at that. Beautiful. With obviously me making my videos, my videos aren't like educational, and I'm very much just a knobhead, so I mean, so I don't want to be like running in a temple with a fucking, with a camera, do you know what I mean? I feel like it's not, I'm not taking the piss, because I wouldn't be taking the piss, but it's like, oh, you're not watching this video to look at temples, do you know what I mean? So, and for me to be in there, I'd have to be like, oh, this is this, is this, do you know what I mean? So like, fuck all that. So yeah, you won't really see much temple content. I'll tell you what, I could scram like a cheese toasty or a club sandwich or something, I could scram one of them. Is that this place? That's fucking locked. Fucking closed. Fuck's sake. It's fucking what time is it? It's like five o'clock on a Monday. What the fuck? Quarter past four on a Monday. What other time would you be open for a cafe? Jesus. So the crab. Is this Dorian? Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Can I have one, please? How much is one? Uh, it's uh, 100 grams. 65 baht. 100 grams. 65 bar, okay, perfect. Uh, 500 gram. 5, 2, 55, 3 and the 20. 325, yeah, okay. It doesn't smell as bad as I thought. What? Uh, it's okay, don't worry, you don't know what I'm saying. Okay, one second. And here we have the Doria, the world's smelliest fruit. It's banned from most shops, most elevators, most hotels. Oh god, it fucking stinks, mate. And it feels horrible. Look how it, it's like soft, super soft. It's like touching your, your door bag is like what it's touching. I'm pretty sure that you don't eat the yellow bit, you only eat 
Oh, wow, 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 that's fucking grim, mate. That absolutely stinks to high heaven, bro. I'm not sure which bit you eat. From the videos I've seen, I think maybe you can eat all of this. I think you can eat all of this. Okay, let's try it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not my... <coughs> <laughs> the other day I paid 100 bar for somebody to be tasered, okay? Best money I've spent so far. This, worst money I've spent so far. That was fucking dreadful. That was dreadful, Karen. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Well, that's going in the bed. Right, so this is like just off the main road. This is what I'm saying. This is like the food vendors that I'm dealing with right now. That I'm really just not feeling. Oh, I can't eat that. I just can't. There we go. There's some chicken. So the crab. Is this all chicken? Chicken, yeah? Yes. Okay, can I get two of these? Yes. Um, it's like a stew in a bag. That looks quite nice. To be fair, some of the soup I've had so far has been nice. What's this? Chicken. Chicken? Yes. Oh, I'm not, I don't trust you. It's chicken skin? Yes. That's skin? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll try some of that as well. That sounds all right. We can deal with some chicken skin. It looks very nice. I don't know. I quite, I'd love to tell you all what it is, but you know, it's packaged well. Uh, okay, how much? Let me get a calculator. Tell me, because I haven't got fucking Scooby Daffy do what she just said, that 75, okay, amazing. Okay, 75 is like one pound 20. Thank you very much for the two chicken pieces, the chicken skin, and then she's put some sachets of sauce in there. I am concerned this chicken's going to be bare spicy, bro. Thank you very much. Okay, again, it's not really a meal, is it? Because there's nowhere to sit. Um, but it's gonna at least fucking fill me up for a little bit if it's not too spicy. If I take one bit and it blows my fucking head off and I'm fucked. It is a proper beautiful town, yeah? Here we go. Oh, Peng. <laughs> it's a um, proper beautiful town, yeah? But obviously I don't think it's for me, really. It's more of a chill spot. But um, I can't get any footage today because I'm not the GoPro. But tomorrow I'll show you around some of the streets. Fucking hell, man. Proper beautiful place this is. I'll tell you what. That's a fucking fat chicken, mate. That's a big boy. Oh. That is absolutely fire. Thank God. Okay. Right. Now we're going to go to the Grand Canyon and hopefully jump off a cliff. I am a bit worried about it. I've never had any fear of heights. But the older I get, the more fucking worried I start thinking about stuff. Fuck it. We'll just jump off a cliff. If, you, if your mates jumped off a cliff, would you do it? No, Mom. I'm just going to do it by myself. <laughs> In another stroke of good luck, my bike has broken down. Let me show you, because I promise you it's not working. Well, it's really trying. It's trying its best. So we're going to have to use the kickstart and see if that fucking works. That's why I put it on the full stand. For fuck's sake. Fuck off. This ain't doing shit, mate. Wait, hold on, I'm trying to rev it at the same time. Fucking hell, get this fucking hell off, man. Fuck's sake, I'm fucking miles away. I've just driven like 10 minutes at full speed and now I've broken down. Are you having a laugh? Okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to risk and keep going. What happens if it fucking breaks down again? Oh, fucking hell. I mean, we're going to risk it anyway. Fuck it. What are we going to do? Go back to the go back to the fucking bike rental place that's probably shut. Let's just keep going. Fucking hell. Ah, oh, the sun's setting. If it broke, if I break down bare far away, I'm going to cry. Pretty much made it. So my only explanation can be is that maybe the bike overheated because it just cut off. It just cut, I was just riding along and it just cut off. So I ain't got a fucking clue, mate. But 
one thing you might think, right? Oh, at least because it's hot over there, driving, you'll get the fucking nice breeze. Nope. It's like driving into a fucking hairdryer. It's fucking boiling. There's no break from this heat at all. Also, the closer that I get, I think this water park is a water park and I can't just go and jump in the fucking ocean or canyon or whatever. It's already late. I don't really want to fucking jump in. A, I don't want to pay for a water park now. Look, because when, when I say water park, it's that, an inflatable water park, like you'd have at a fucking little kid's party. Do you know what I mean? I was wanting to come and jump off these fucking cliffs into the water. That's what it reads like you can do online. I don't really want to pay. Like I say, it's going to be shutting soon. But I've, do you know what I mean? That's for kids, bro. That's for kids. I just really wanted to jump off a cliff. I've never been so disappointed to not put myself into danger. Hold on a fucking minute. There is a bloke on, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there's a bloke on the zip line over there. He's not going to jump in the water though, is he? No, you don't get to jump in the water, you just zip line across. Boring. Right, what we're going to do now, I'm going to ride back while it's still fucking light in case I fucking break down. And I think, to be honest, it's just time to go and have a fucking beer and a chill. Do you know what I mean? Fucking hell, I've been fucking running around like a headless swat all day. <laughs> Make sure you fucking hit that subscribe button. Shout out to your mum, shout out to your fucking dad. Daily videos, 6pm every day. Mashtag Brady to the fucking moon.